This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code American Idol. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. Hand wave. Oh! It'd be good to talk now. All right, everybody. We all uh, we all know that with 27 million weekly downloads, downloaded in 75 different countries, I can't even talk right it's now. Okay. We're your one stop, one destination for true after show entertainment. What's up, everyone? It's American Idol season 13, episode 13. I'm JC, and we're here to dice it up, and we are here to be happy. Happy. Always. Happy. All right, so. I'm going to start with Team Nice this week, and looking as lovely as ever, Miss Violet Canyon. You're so sweet, JC. Uh, what's going on? I'm Violet Canyon. How's it going? All right. <laughs> and across the table, our our nemesis, nemesis, our foes, Team, Team Spice. Spice. in the house. I'm Jason Eichler. And I'm Stephanie Georgie. What's good, everybody? And no, hey. yes. and no show would be complete without our lovely Marissa running the ones and twos. What's Ooh. up, Marissa? What's up, everyone? Marissa. Okay, we're going to breeze by this because usually we, we have about 70 singers to talk about <laughs> yeah. each week. Today, we only have the top 13. Yep. And it's all about This Is Me. So, this is this real. Is this is me. I think um, Jonas Brock. Brothers have a song from yeah, their from first Camp album. Brock. Demi Lovato and Jonas Brothers. Don't forget Demi. Oh. Uh, yeah. Demi. They're having a moment, guys. Yeah. Let's get into it right off the bat. Overall thoughts. What did we think tonight? Violet, what? You're, you're grinning um, ear to ear. Why? What's I up? I thought it started really slow, and I was like, oh, boy, this season's going to be a little iffy. But then it got really good. So. Really? You know what? I'm excited. I thought I liked the pace of the show. I liked that you got mm-hmm. to know the contestants more. I wasn't blown away by any performance. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Really? Okay. <laughs> Steph. Agreed. No, I think I have to agree with both of them. But I'm happy because I'm I'm beginning to see the competition now. So he's like we're eliminating people. Mm, you know what? Maybe you're not so good. This person's a little bit better. Yeah. I, there were some pleasant surprises and I, some disappointment. disappointments. I see a huge separation already. I with, already with see, the groups and contestants. Yes. I see four I singers that are already coming above everyone else. Mm-hmm. There's a separation, a huge one. I know Absolutely. it's way too early because we all know this is a singing show. Mm-hmm. You know, I think some of these singers we saw tonight that were ultra super powerful. I think the producers are going to give them weeks that might be challenging mm-hmm. for them, that might right. bring them back down and help the others come up. Because I already see a huge difference yep. between and I, I mean right off the bat, like from Caleb to some of the. I just see a huge difference. Mm-hmm. I see people that are already stars or they, they believe in their yeah. own mind that they're already stars and that's projecting on the performances and, right. and we're buying it. Right. I think we do have a couple this season Fake especially you make it. Yeah, that we haven't seen on the show before. Like MK, for example, like maybe not her best performance this week, mm-hmm. but she's so different mm-hmm. that that sets her apart. Right. True. All right. So well, do we want to get into this week or actually do we want to talk about what happened last Thursday yeah. since we didn't do an, an after show last Thursday so Violet I know you were pretty vehement about this how did you feel about the selection process were there people left out did you feel something that you didn't agree with I didn't agree with uh, the top 13 I didn't agree with who they had to sing for their life what was it the wild card for the I wild didn't card, agree sure. I although I loved CJ's performance tonight and I'm, he's actually growing on me and I really really like him um, I didn't think he was the right choice and I kind of feel like it was a little bit of politics why they chose him to be in it. Ooh. Who would you um, rather right. have seen? I would. I honestly, I don't know why everyone is giving her such a hard time, but Bria, Bria Anae. Uh, Bria Anae. Anae. Yeah. I, I thought she would have added so much just fun to the show and yeah. kind of like the diva because there isn't really a diva this season. And I would have loved to see that. Caleb. 
Uh, <laughs> in the Kitty. girls. In the Kitty. girls. Kitty. Yeah. Kitty. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I'm going to just say it. There's five guys. They're all white guys. Yeah, white guys with it. guitars. And it was it really pissed me off. Because I thought the season started out very, like, because we were saying they're kind of trying to see what the voice is doing and make it very right. diverse. And then I guess it, you America have to think votes. middle America's mm -hmm. voting and yeah. they whitewash it. I mean, mm. I apologize if we sound too liberal, but I'm just saying it's true. I think yeah. they we it's too bad that we don't have more diversity, but I mean, I guess our contestants are good, so it's not too too bad. Okay, and well, who's to say? I mean, that maybe that's why they I don't want to say that, but that's why they chose Jace, uh, CJ. CJ JC, <laughs> really? <laughs> that's why they chose CJ <laughs> to be in the top. Wow. That's, I honestly feel that's the only reason. All right. Let us know what you think if you agree with who they yeah, pick. Yeah, I agree actually with that, which I mean, I like that they're trying to mm. diversify it. I think that's good. But I do think if you're judging on voice alone, there were so many people left out that could have yep. been better. Yeah, especially and in Union the Brianna, I think. Yes. I, I loved her. I thought when I saw her audition, I thought she was the one to beat. But I think she oversings too much. Mm. And that, that, I think it was just oh, youthful, I agree with that too. youthful mm. exuberance. But that was last week. Let's get into mm -hmm. this week. Okay. And let's start out with uh, our boy from down south, Mr. Dexter Roberts. <laughs> First of all, he needs subtitles when he's talking. Because <laughs> I didn't understand a word of his five things. I'm like, what the hell are you saying? Um, and I thought the song was too low for him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have that low of a range. Mm -hmm. And it was very karaoke to me. Like, if I felt like I was at a country bar and yeah. he was right. getting up there, like open mic night almost. And he seemed very shy and closed off. And I wanted, he's got such a fun personality when he's not on stage, mm -hmm. he needs to bring that to stage. Could it be because he, he was the first one up for the season? But mm -hmm. tough crap. Yeah. You're in the yeah. top 13 on American Idol. Get it's, it together. You gotta bring your A game. Yeah. Okay. I think it could have been better, so. It was regular, but I am happy that he looks better. You know, I think he looks good. He looks He's starting horrible. to look really good. Yeah, which helps. So it's part of the image need, makeover. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that's going to be a part of the competition either. Who cleans up the best? Mm -hmm. Now, and Violet, I know, I know you got you know, like your doctorate in, in, <laughs> yes. in country music. So I do. Um, <laughs> thoughts on Dexter? I okay. That is one of my favorite songs right now. It's Chris Young on oh, now. And the way he sings it, it's very low and kind of almost a little gritty. And it's kind of, it's sexy. Mm -hmm. When he sings it, you just want to dance and like be like, oh, I wish I had my cowboy boots right. on. I was like, country club, you know, a country bar. Um, but he kind of sang it more fun and lighthearted. And I feel like he didn't bring that grit where he should have. Mm -hmm. um, it was good, but he needs, he definitely needs to change up songs. He's just singing what's contemporary country, whatever's on the radio right now. And he's going to, he's not going to stand out. He's. I think the judges I, said that. Yeah, yeah, I think Keith Urban made a comment to uh, Ben. He's Ben Briley? doing yes. He did a Johnny Cash song. Well, th that's my okay. I was bringing that up for a reason. They said they wanted Dexter to go a little out of the box, right? There it is. But then yeah. Ben was too out of the box. So what do you want? I mean, that's that's I, what I have, have a hard to time. Be, you have to be medium. who you are as an artist. And I think like if you think about Carrie Underwood when she was on the show. Nobody in country music at the time was doing that. Yeah, right. So she came. She was good at it. She owned it. She did her own over. thing. Didn't, yeah, you could say like she's got like uh, Faith Hill influences, mm -hmm. but she did her own thing. He needs to take these country artists and be influenced yeah, by them, yes. but he needs to be Dexter. Absolutely. And I couldn't be like, oh, you know what? That sounds like a Dexter song. Or mm -hmm. I thought Dexter would sing that, mm -hmm. unless it's like a top ten country hit. Well, Steph, could could the same be said for Malaya? Um, <laughs> Not, you know, like Malaya Watson. No, I know. Malaya, unfortunately, I felt like she, it sounded like she was talking the whole time. I didn't yep. feel that she was singing and it was unfortunate. And I feel like the braces really don't help. Yes. I, really? It's, yeah. It's, it's I, like. But do you know what? I think she's shouting. I think if she just had breath support. Yeah. Because it's like, she's like just trying to get those notes out. If she just like. Just take a second, breathe, have a phrase with it. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like she's like punching you with every note. And that's not how Bruno Mars songs are. Bruno right. Mars is so smooth. It's melody. Yeah. I, I honestly think that when she gets her braces off, it's going to make her sound completely different. Because you can tell, I remember when I had my braces and there were things that I was limited to that I couldn't do anymore. And when that comes off, you'll, she'll be able to like move her mouth more. And who knows if that should like scratch I think that will help with everything. diction and stuff for mm -hmm. sure. Because it is kind of hard. Even Randy was, was saying that. And she was also flat. It, just, it wasn't a good performance. She needs... Really she does need breath support. I like it. She looks confident when she's on the stage, mm -hmm. and I like that. Mm -hmm. But it was just super karaoke. But she needs her voice to come to back her up. So, yeah. The first four singers, I think, tonight were all nervous. Mm -hmm. I think uh, yeah. all four, the first four. I don't think till the, the show was about maybe forty-five minutes in that we finally saw people relax a little bit more. 
I just, I just, I thought Malaya was nervous. I thought mm. she was too, she was fast, she was frenetic. I thought she was all over the place, unfortunately. And I, I love Malaya. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think she's fantastic. I think she has a, she has a big enough fan base. I think she's super likable. I think she should be fine. It, but this is probably her, from in my opinion, the worst performance I've seen from her. Mm-hmm. And I it's agree. hard to say because I love. I, I think she's a, she's fantastic. Because she's yeah. a great character, but mm-hmm. you have to get over the nerves. You have to. You're on American Idol now. Of like course. you're gonna be forgotten mm-hmm. if you go home today. Nobody's gonna remember you. That's true. It's too early. Yeah. Okay, so is it too early to lay down judgment on Kristen O'Connor? Nope. Kristen is, this was the first time I felt like I did kind of feel her in the song. Um, She sounds great, but there's something about her, like it was a nice surprise, but there's something about her that's kind of annoying to me. I don't know what it is, and I don't know because she's very like, Pageant, pageanty, and it's it bothers me, and it kind of takes away. Oh, <laughs> Dang, ready? Oh, her hoop, her hoop oh, fell out. My hoop fell. Everybody, my bad. <laughs> no, so but with the, yeah, she just sounded. I don't know, she's kind of black. You know what? I was actually surprised because I didn't think she was this strong of a singer. That being said, I hated the arrangement of the song. Mm-hmm. She kind of. This song is on. I can talk about Kelly because she's like, "Is that Kelly song?" Um, <laughs> this song is on two of Kelly's albums, and okay. one is like a pop rock song. Then the on Breakaway, it's like unplugged with a piano, and she meshed the two together. And I mm-hmm. didn't think it sounded good with the arrangement. Mm-hmm. And then I think when she sings, her placement is in the wrong spot. Like it, the placement's supposed to come through your forehead when you're singing, and hers is so low. Mm-hmm. And I think that makes her pitchy. It sounded like it was the the talent part of the pageant. Ah, uh. yeah. Mm. So, so Violet, come on. I, now um, you know you know about pageants. I now. do. I know a thing or two about pageants. <laughs> she definitely seems pageanty. But um, I, I when, actually when she started, I was like, whoa, maybe I should stop talking smack about this girl because she is freaking. When she started, I was really? like, wow, yeah, this girl can sing absolutely. And then in the middle, when it started going into the high notes, and she kind of started. I don't. I, I'm not. I don't know the technical terms. Mm-hmm. But I wrote when she's kind of putting pressure on her voice and putting power, trying to put power into it, she kind of loses everything. Yeah. yeah. She falls all, loses like... control, okay. Yeah, it's, it's awful. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a broken record. I, I just thought she was all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. my number one rule after doing enough of these shows, no mid-tempo songs. Mm. Either like yeah. a, a slow yeah. ballad or a fast, powerful song. Mid-tempo... It, it it doesn't have enough moments. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Even though it's a Kelly Clarkson song. But when Kelly Clarkson, she, she sang this it. on American Idol on one of the performance shows or whatever, but you can make it. this When she, Kelly sings it, she sings it with just mm-hmm. a piano, and then it's like this powerful ballad. And the song's about getting over somebody with a drug problem. I just mm-hmm. want to say oh, that. Mm-hmm. So for her to take it and be like, this is about my American Idol journey. No, it's not. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think she's safe, though? Mm. I I would, like, you know, I would like to see her stay Maybe. just because I feel like she's one of the girls that actually has a powerhouse voice. Because mm. okay. I was shocked really by how good she sang tonight. Yeah. Yeah. But get her a little training and she could be good. Right. I don't know if America likes her, though, because... Yeah. I don't know if Victoria, I mean, Violet and... Victoria? I'm sorry. Victoria you you got called Victoria Justice. Oh, that's you're right. right. Okay, see? I'll let that one slide. I, I think the... I think she, here's the thing. <laughs> the problem, and I've learned this in other, like, like for hosting and whatnot... You have to be. She's a she's a attractive girl. Right. She 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 somewhat attra- you know very attractive, but the hardest thing for an attractive woman to do is to make other women like her. Yep. And that's why I think you guys are a little bit. Mm, I don't know. No, I, I honestly no, but- I feel like she's gotten far in her life with what? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, it's, it's with a her love. Yeah, I agree. So I feel like she's kind of confident too confident well and i feel like if you're gonna be because there are like the powerhouse pop singers like christina aguilera kelly Mm -hmm. clarkson mariah carey they're the pop singers with good technique and if you're gonna sing a song like that you have to own it you can't like or do an ellie golding song that's not as vocally challenging Mm -hmm. yeah but don't sing a big song and then not be as good as it you know you see jason is like the master of the segues because talking about Biting off too much, you know, what is it? What's that saying? Biting off more, more than, than you can, can chew? chew. Johnny Cash, Fol- Folsom City Blues. And I love that. And so- well oh. said, by the way, that that's a good line or a colloquialism for that. Because mm. it's when you hear Johnny Cash, everyone like I love Johnny Cash so yeah. much. And I have and I didn't think that he was going to sing it just like him, because I think any everyone would be wise to know. Don't sing it like Johnny Cash, because only Johnny Cash sings right. like Johnny Cash. But I did have an idea of what he might have been able to do for himself, and it wasn't there. 
Um, I know that they liked like J Lo and and uh, I think it was Keith liked the up tempo, but I thought it was too up tempo. Mm-hmm. He could have worked with the song, maybe left it a little bit lower, and then some of his voice he kind of sat like. I said he sounded like a, yeah he sounded like a nasally Kid Rock nasally in a really a bad bit. way, and I thought he took a Johnny Cash song and sang it like a, a little B word. Oh, really? You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, okay. Like, Johnny Cash singing about killing people in this song. Yeah. You seem like you're, like, in a high school punk band. I need, ah, I need to comment on that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Vi- that was better. Violet's I know exactly what you're talking about. What he's trying to do is what Eric Church does, where he gets up there and yeah. he gets a little nasally. But Eric um, Church Eric, owns it. He, he does. And what, he, what Ben needs to do is he needs to do an Eric Church song. Because Johnny Cash is so low and mm-hmm. he's just so just, like, you know just like yeah. laid back singing it and of course you're not going to do it like yeah. you said Johnny Cash's version but whatever you do you can't change the song so much and make it yeah. so up tempo and Especially so nasally like a classic song like exactly, that exactly because at the end of the day it's a Johnny Cash song you know no, but, oh go ahead sorry yeah. however I was going to say I did appreciate his uniqueness in mm-hmm. the in the performance only because I haven't seen that side of Ben so that was nice meaning I can see him doing a different song better yes. and growing. Yeah. Uh, that's what I said. So his I potential's liked, there yeah, again. I liked the idea of the song, right. just not the execution. Yep. And lose the what, baseball hat. Well, What's well the point? no, it's that's his it's his, it's his brand. Thing. It's, it's his like Tim McGraw. It's but his, Tim yeah. McGraw's hot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, you know, I wanna s I wanna add one more note with this. Harry Connick said it was the best so far tonight. Was there something we missed? No, because Harry's well, very so far. He said it so because far. it was only Dexter, Malaya, Kristen, and, and Ben. Who and I don't think Harry listens to I country mean, music to know the original almost. You know what I no, mean? Johnny Cash. Johnny, no, he knows Johnny Cash, he knows but he was comparing it to the three artists before. He would have not said that had the others gone. That's him. true. I guess I guess that is true. That was the best so far. Yeah, but yeah that compared was not, to the others. Yeah, that's it was all just it was. uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> no, it was pretty good. It was a good. It I was a. Him. It was a good performance, like you said. It was the execution of it, the idea, and what he was trying to do was all right. He could have, maybe, when he saw himself sing that afterwards, he. I bet you he would have been able to switch it up a little yep. bit. Maybe just a, a change it in notes. It almost seemed like even with the production, though, like with the violin players, like in the background, it seemed too campy for a Johnny Cash song. I, I feel know. like I'm Team Spice tonight. Ooh. I'm like this because I yet to like anyone so far. And yeah. even who yeah. I, I love, CJ Harris, and I had a hard time with him tonight as well. And Vi- no, Violet, do we so disagree? Good. We do disagree. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Well, I'm on your side with this. Okay, you please. go first, please. <laughs> I loved it. I mean, when they said he's doing Darius Sorker, I was like, okay, perfect. Um, but that song, Radio, I think it's called Radio. Yeah, it's it's. I, I, I loved radio. it. It was a little yeah, uh, mid tempo. Okay. So kind of, you know, he couldn't really do too much with his voice, but whatever he did do, I I thought was great. And I loved whatever they did to his look. Freaking awesome. He looked he amazing. He changed He did no, he did look better. He looked, no, he, he was he's, camera ready. He's camera ready and also we were saying that when in the beginning part when they were doing the promotion for their the new system on how to vote and everything, um he was he's he's so good on the camera. He is and so he comfortable. Talks. I also like his facial expressions. Mm-hmm. I think his facial expressions on stage is very nice. Yes. And um no, I think he did good. He well, draws you in when he's like I, Oh, but he needed I wrote that he needed a stronger finish because he just like yeah. ended and it was just done. Mm-hmm. Like he you know didn't what? he didn't you should follow through the same way with the golf swing. Follow through. Follow through. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to sound like a broken record, but he was consistently under pitch mm-hmm. and he didn't have breath support the whole performance and it was so hard for me to listen to because I'm like you are off this but whole time. But for some time. people that works. But it doesn't work for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and see, I I picked up the same thing. I can't believe I, I wrote breath support and intonation early on seemed slightly off. Yep. Breath support? I know. No. I, and, and I pick, Everyone needs breast support. No, I just picked that up, and I've liked him other weeks. I just thought this week that the nerves got to him. And it, it sounded very – again, I think karaoke was the theme of the night because everybody just sounded karaoke. He didn't sound like – when he heard, when, he, when he sang that song, I'm like, oh, I want to go home and listen to Darius Rucker sing it good. Wow. It, because I've loved his personality all season long. I feel joy whenever mm-hmm. I, I hear him right. sing. I feel the same. Yeah, he's very that- likable, and you want to watch him perform. But just tonight, I, I, I'm just calling it, it's almost an anomaly. It's the first night jitters, like half of yeah. them. I, I'm hopefully giving them the benefit of the doubt. But unfortunately, we are going to lose someone t- tomorrow. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Which they're not going to get a second chance. It's unfortunate. But beyond, I think, the first performance jitters, it's also their first performance. Everyone, now that they've had a taste of doing an entire song or whatever the segment is for their song, the amount of time, they're now they know what they want to do. They've gotten their constructive criticism. They're going to be able to get back on stage and feel differently on stage, mm-hmm. know what they did wrong on stage, and then, you know... It, it, Practice makes perfect. You know, I can see that, but how many hundreds of thousands of people have tried out for this? Yeah. You're in the top 13. It, but you it can't, ma- like, there's no room the, for you to sound anyone, like that. No, but anyone else who would have been on there, don't forget, these are amateurs. These aren't people. This isn't Jillian Jensen who's performed on X Factor. Oh, but this I'm not saying her. I'm saying even look at Sam Wolf. He came out there. Yes, he was nervous, but he was vocally consistent. He is mm-hmm. so perfect. Yeah. But everyone's see, different. Whatever. I think I'm team nice right now. Yeah. I think, so, yeah. I think see, it, it rotates on. all season long. So, <laughs> team nice going to MJ. I mean, MJ. MK. MK. Yay. MJ. Yay. Off by MK. She did a Satisfaction by Alan Stone. Brilliant song choice. <laughs> I, this is the first time I heard the song. That's why I think it's good, though, because you're not thinking about anybody else. Yeah. Right. She delivered it. Yeah. Right. But- she needs Uh-oh. swag. She's so good. And the shyness works when she's singing a ballad. When you're singing a song like this, yeah. I almost wanted her to have a mic and do, like, sexy things with the mic. And like own the I stage. Don't think she's gonna do sex. But like she yeah. needs to like, she just needs like she looks so nervous and uncomfortable mm-hmm. when she's up there, and you just want to like squeeze her shoulders and be like, go get it. <laughs> there is a difference between MK and let's say Alex, Alex Preston, who I believe actually, and we'll talk to, mm-hmm. talk about him a little bit later. He brings you in. Yes. And MK can do that, but I don't know if she knows she's doing it. You know, yeah. I, I think it's right. Which because if she did, then she she'd be bringing people in even more. I think it's just I she's naturally MK, introverted. I think MK's great, and the judges said it perfectly. Her voice never fails her. Yep, she's always like on key, in tune. Everything is just perfect. I love how she sounds. And, and she did these like cool. Regardless slides of her feel, song. feeling awkward, I loved her so much. I'm like yes, and I, all I'm doing is watching her and rooting for her. I'm like, Ada girl, you do what you do, and she did. But whatever man she'll learn how to move yeah but she does look amateur up there when she's just standing yeah. there nervous like deer in the headlights and she is it's not It's not. we're not watching some, we're not thinking like oh she should be better because she's been performing for years like mm-hmm. cool good for you now you know you gotta move a little bit more we'll see that in your next performance Hopefully. and I think that she'll show us that I feel like she's disconnected from what how she's singing to how her move, how like her presence is yeah. but she's so not she's somebody who moves people. she just has to figure out what's comfortable for her to move and she's probably gonna be like a, a dude when she does it cause I don't think she's gonna be like using her hips or anything she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna be a shoulder and a head movement person but she doesn't have to be like a, you know what I mean like, like she doesn't have to go out there and be J-Lo she can mm-hmm. be like just like put some punch into what you're doing. Yes. Mm-hmm. I wanted more passion from her yep. and I wanted more soul from her because I feel yeah. like this is a soulful song. And if you were listening to it, I bet you would think she had it. But watching her takes away from mm, her voice. Yeah. Who okay, would you like I'm, to see gonna... m- mentor MK to Usher. bring at the. Really? Usher. I was really yeah. passionate about that. Usher could really? bring the swag to her. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. And is because that because of Justin Bieber? No, no I'm thinking of Michelle. That, that I'm makes thinking sense. of the voice. Can we talk about the voice on here? Usher's contestant on The Voice last season was kind of oh, the same style as yes. Michelle. And Usher brought her and like he made her like you run and do push ups while she's doing it. Like she just needs to be confident in her singing because yes. her singing is so good. And if her stage presence can match her singing, she could take the whole thing. Okay. But right now she's falling behind because of her stage and presence. And I think that Usher has the ability of bringing out like the woman in any woman. If you know what I okay. mean, okay, sure. It's, and it's that it's just that like he to feel comfortable in your skin and mm-hmm. just to well, relax, like you said, just relax a little bit. And, and there is like elephant in the room: the fact that she's a lesbian on this show has a lot of Middle America voting against her. True. And so you have to be so comfortable in your sexuality. She needs to look at somebody like a Brandy Carlile, who is a lesbian singer, mm-hmm. but like owns the fact that she is on stage and she you have you have to own you have to be comfortable in your own skin to Would be a good performer. You, Jason, can you really say that because she was voted top 10? She she didn't have to qualify via yeah. wild card. Well, I'm saying so, like based on things I've read on Twitter right. and Middle uh-huh. America can forget that she's a lesbian because she was very beautiful today and she looked like she a lady. She looked so pretty. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. She, so you can drop it. Harry even spoke about yeah, that. Yeah. So. She looks she's, gorgeous. She's gorgeous and she has an amazing voice. That's why I like I want I just want her to do well because she's so talented. And my favorite part is that every Every time she sings, it still like trips me out that she sounds that way. Mm-hmm. Really? That she sounds so good, and and then when she goes high, oh my god! I'm like, are you kidding me right now? You're so beautiful. I love it. Mm-hmm. Now, since we've we've been giving 
MK verbal bouquets all season. What about Majesty Rose? Oh my god, it was a good so performance. Cute. It was a, it was a good performance, her. but that's also the only thing I wrote. So do you know what? Okay, I thought Majesty should have almost taken what Malaya did. Majesty, because that song, Majesty needed more punch in the verse of that song. She's saying it too sing like too pretty, and she needs to like almost like you're rapping it a little bit. And then when she got to the chorus, it was good. But she's so fun to watch. Yes. And as soon as she walked away from the mic. She got turned <laughs> up. I'm like, uh, like as soon as she moved the mic yeah, from yeah, the yeah. stand, yes. performance was a hundred times better. I, you know, I kind of like that she's a little, just like sweet when she sings. I feel like it's her. We yeah. know who so she cute. is already. It's like what the second episode of, yeah, them being in the top. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I love her. She's. I love watching her. She's she was ready my, yeah, for the stage. My she favorite knows who ending she is. of the song tonight too. Oh like, yeah. I was waiting for somebody to wail at the end. She did. <laughs> yeah. I had a hard time with her. <gasps> That's what I'm saying. I'm Team Spice this week. Go over there. No, it, it just dawned on me. Maybe it's because I need to readjust my thinking of what it means to be on American Idol mm-hmm. nowadays as opposed to season one and mm-hmm. two. No, that's yeah. exactly what it is for you. Because you've been doing this longer than us. And no, I, I just, just get it. I, to me, do I see a superstar there? Do I see a Beyonce? Do I see a Christina? Yep. Do I see someone like that? And I hate to say that. I love her to pieces. I, her energy is beautiful. She's happy. Mm-hmm. She that song yeah. happy is about her. I just don't know if I see a superstar selling out concerts day in and day out. But is now Idol transformed itself into more of this successful oh, singer, it. but not this megawatt star like a mm. J Lo. Do you know it has yeah. the has the show morphed into something else? Now just producing pretty good artists. I mean, I mean great artists, but not superstars. Yeah. and I'm, I don't know. I th- I don't think she's ever gonna be. Beyonce. I mean, yeah, but she's saying Janelle Monet, and I could see her being yes. on that level of an artist. Exactly. Okay. I can see her like an NBRE. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Okay. Like everyone, I mean, th- that's everyone an incredible knows performer, you, but, yeah. and she still has a follow. She still has shows that people love to see because she get like, when she starts developing herself and when she can start writing her own music, she's probably going to be able to create something incredible where we're going to follow it. And it's going to be one of those songs where you listen on specific moods, which I feel like I said this last season about a specific artist, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, she she has that ability to her. Where even after the show, I think that if she just sticks to it and she finds like a good writer uh-huh. and someone that she like a team that she could collaborate with, she's like she she's one of the people who doesn't necessarily need American Idol mm-hmm. to continue going. An artist, okay. I'm happy yeah, that cause... she's recognized now and she has her exposure, and that should be it. She just needs to develop more. Well, I feel like her sound is super current and it almost is like what's going on in pop music right now. So it might be perfect timing for her, actually. Mm -hmm. Is she perfect like for now the YouTube generation for people online that we share music where we find like unique artists like a Tori Kelly, things like this. Or even like an Ingrid Michaelson or somebody like that. Like just like fun, bubbly music like Mm -hmm. Colby Calais or something like she's not. She's not Christina Aguilera by any means. Right, right, right. So you're saying, but more of like an underground movement, something that's shared among the web and things like yeah. that. Okay. Even further than that, I think. So like, basically, she probably like would maybe need a website, perhaps. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so funny that you mentioned that. That took me a while to get your um, <laughs> transition. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use promo code American Idol. Use promo code American um, Idol. I still this haven't done this. American yet. Idol. Squarespace is super easy to use, guys, and you get 24 hour support and you can make your site before you buy it. Like, I'm horrible on computers. Yeah, but it's I, user perfect. friendly. It's user friendly for people like you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. We're, we're on the same boat. We're going to make it tonight. Squarespace.com. All right. Slash <laughs> what code? American, American Idol. Idol. All right, let's move on to ah, Jean I, Irene. Mm, you got so excited there. I am because I love her voice. Wrong song. Absolutely wrong song okay. for me. With G, I'm sorry. I was very disappointed. I yes. I and I know you guys. I, I by the way we reacted watching the show. You the girls loved her. I could not stand it tonight. Really? Yes. I've I've, cons- I've compared her to <laughs> Ann Wilson so from Heart. Like yeah. What's that? No, like I you're com- making me feel bad. I'm like, I don't want to. No, no, no. Say no I, I like, like exactly anymore. what you're saying. I'm feeling it. Yeah. No, no, no. Because it was the song. The song was just not right for her. I think she's got a great voice. Just the wrong song. And I hope America doesn't judge her on this tonight. Well, mm-hmm. I agree because what I was saying when we were watching it, what I loved about her before 
was that she was doing her own thing. Mm -hmm. She's going out there and singing with her voice. And during the verses of this song, she's trying to do that artsy sound that everybody's doing that we're saying we're so sick of on the show, like doing the Lana Del Rey or the Ellie Goulding song with the wide vowels. And so when she does that, I'm like, you don't sound good. Like, you have a beautiful voice. Don't try to manipulate it Mm -hmm. just to sound current. But then when she wailed on the high notes, I'm like, oh, you got this. Like, it's there. And then she lost it again. I think that she's lucky that she had the ending the way that uh, Jennifer Lopez and I don't... Oh, Keith. They said that they were worried about her in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. She. But I like her so much. I like her so much. And she... Yeah, maybe that was a wrong song choice. But even with that song, you can tell that... Okay, cool. The next song will be better. Like, you're great. She's right. a great singer. You're, like, so cheery tonight. I know. What's <laughs> going on here? I think it's because we got no AC, and I'm slowly taking off all my clothes. Are, I'm watching you, and it's making me laugh <laughs> Dios so mio. much. And I'm, I'm sitting like this, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to, like, freak out right now because I'm so hot. <laughs> because the show was so hot. So, yeah. Violet, thoughts? On Gina? Yes. Um, I like her. I really do, actually. I feel like she's her and a few other of the contestants are the only ones that connect with the song. Every single okay. song she sings, she connects with. Okay, I I'll feel give you that. it. I'm like drawn in. Um, I could see some of the parts. She kind of felt like she it was like closed. Her throat was closed mm-hmm. off when she was trying to sing. But I still really like her, and I'm surprised that America didn't vote her in. Um, yeah, I in the thought beginning. that was. I agree. And I'm a little worried for her. Really? Yeah. I would think she could be in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Just because based on last week. All right. So now. (laughs) Her next song will be good. Hopefully. I turned on the The AC. AC. Yay! Yay! (laughs) Hey, I already feel it. Are we feeling it? So do I. (laughs) God. Are you feeling the AC as much as we all felt Alex Preston? Yes, I don't man. say we all. <laughs> Hashtag Ali. Hashtag Ali. Oh, we've got someone that's um, oh, not on Team Alex this week. You can no, go you know when. <laughs> okay, before I go, I just want to say this. <laughs> when he started, I'm like, oh my god, he's got this. And then I agree with Harry. He got a little pitchy toward the end, and I don't think it worked. His it was just very wobbly sounding. And I agree too. Like I know that he's a club venue player and he's very closed off. But you're playing these big spaces and you have to open up and you have to play toward the crowd you're playing. But he brought me in. He actually, yeah. he brought me in compared to someone else that we talked about earlier. He brought me in in the beginning and then as soon as his voice got off, I was like, oh, what's took he you doing? Out. Yep. Okay. Well, here's the thing though. His performance, because he is choosing similar songs mm-hmm. because that's his style. However, I did like that in this one, he, that was the first time I ever heard him wail. Not wail. What, yeah, what I love when he wailed. Yeah, you can yeah say that wail. was good. That was wonderful. And you know why he did that, actually? Because he needed to. <laughs> yes. No, but not not just that, but he doesn't go to that. Like other things. Mm-hmm. Like, that's where Harry would crack on people when you go to these big, he these hype. Need yeah. it. But when he does it, it's a surprise. It, it yep. hits you. And you're like, wow. I do think he needs, because I like that we know who he is as an artist, but already three performances in, I'm like, okay, shock me. You know, do something a little different. Take a song and make it your own. But he's like, I don't know, I like and I don't like what he's doing at the same time. Because I feel like you do have to be consistent. But I want to I want to not know what he's going to do. Oh, okay. So could that be kind of like the curse of like, let's say someone like Philip Phillips? Who won, by the way? Yes. Yeah, that's, I don't know, though, because if it, I guess it depends. Every year it's different. But yeah. like when Kelly was on, she sang every genre amazingly. She did, Kelly. Even, yeah, <laughs> the Jesus Christ of American <laughs> Idol and life. Um... <laughs> But, or even like, I'm trying to think, like Adam Lambert sang oh. so many different genres on the show, but I, made okay, them his no own. Okay, no one will ever compare it to Kelly or Adam I or see. even but, Carrie. But that's the purpose of the show is to find these people. I so. see what you mean, but on that note, to find these people, the only issue is, is that some people are getting into themselves where I feel like artists that are out there, they're, they're not going on American Idol because it's American Idol because it's on its 13th season. But who cares? Get on a show because if you're not going to be someone who's going to be on The Voice or The X Factor or something else, it doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? You're getting exposure. Yeah. And, and like some of America's getting bougie by not like embracing everything that we have available for you. For someone who's in the middle of the country having, you know, you're not if you're not in L.A., guess what? You don't really have that many opportunities. And it is what it is. But I think that 
I think that it was, he was good. Like, it doesn't matter, whatever. I mean, they're not going to be like Kelly and all of them now because their people are, like, holding back. And so that's why I feel like these contestants are more simplified. So you want, you're, you're hearkening back that there were powerhouses. Like, Carrie was a powerhouse. Uh, Kelly was a powerhouse. Even Candace. So. Jordan Sparks. Half of these people are people who've said on their in their auditions, I've been watching the show since I was young. So they've just been waiting to do it. But you know what? The voice has the best ratings. The girl that won last season, Tessian, powerhouse vocalist. Mm -hmm. Like she can sing. And I think I think America, God bless America, America's ready for a powerhouse singer to come back. But I mean we had that's Candace Glover last year. Yeah. Which she was incredible, she's but she's freaking she, if she's not powerhouse, I don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so now after Buzz Nation, you may have to back me up on this. So is Jessica Muse a possible powerhouse? Do you know what? Okay. I will she was put so, my. She was so good to me. She sounded insane. Yay. Insane. I will give her that. But she has the same problem as MK, where she sounds great, but A, she's not likable. <laughs> I have to say something mean. Um, B, she looks so uncomfortable on the stage, and she should go out there like Janice Joplin, almost like what? What's the guy that sang last? Like what Caleb, Caleb. did? If she was like Caleb on the stage and like. Bang in her head. Right. That's a rock song. Like she would have been best but, performance of the night. And she'd be hotter because she's beautiful. Like Violet she, kept saying, yeah. she looks so she looks good tonight. So gorgeous. But she's like, she just needs to be humbled or something. I've, I do agree that she does need to be humbled. Even in her, like when Ryan is talking to her, she's a little. I don't know if she's shy like she did, or if she's like, not. But she, she seems felt, like she's always on edge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she always looks always like she's defensive. Yeah. And exactly. She looks like even though Ryan is the business, like you're annoying me right now. Right. She's just like, like okay, relax. Now she can I go sing? But now? she did good. She did so. She, she sounded did. great. And I want to um, what you said about her moving around or banging her head. I feel like she didn't because it was more of like a dramatic, more dark, and she was kind of trying to be that dramatic thing okay. with like the crows and the butterflies yeah. flying behind her. So I feel like that's why she didn't move. But then again, we saw her last week do Luke Bryan and she still didn't move. So I, I'm not sure. I want to see her again. I want to see her do like Mama's Broken Heart by Miranda Lambert oh, or a song like that. Like be. that could do like her country and her yeah. rock thing. Mm -hmm. But she, she has to turn up her stage presence. Yeah. yeah. So you think voice, she's going to be wow. like happy-go-lucky next week? She's no, going to take lessons from not. Majesty or... No, not even happy-go-lucky. Like kick something you know what i mean like look angry when you're do on you, stage but like, do you, do you but thing. do something yeah because we know you're kind of a bia so own it okay all right so i'm just happy flip off the I'm, crowd i'm just so stoked that like she made me smile today like mm. thank you for yeah you know like let 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 us see your passion please and, and to tonight all the haters, i saw her passion all the haters giving us hate we said she sounded good tonight and to all the haters i love y'all Kidding. Okay, with that said, <laughs> let's move on to some like someone not as controversial, oh. Emily Parit. Oh. And the only reason I say is because she's likable, but did we feel her tonight? Oh, I thought she should have sang the song like a step higher. It sounded too low for her in the beginning. And then she sang the song and she took a Celine Dion approach to it. <laughs> and she should have taken a Pink approach to it. Because oh. when Pink sings, mm. Pink has a powerhouse, beautiful voice, mm -hmm. but Pink wails at the right moments and I think she tried to over sing every note. I when, think that it was the best of Emily. Like okay. Emily's like Emily's greatest hits, that one. <laughs> I actually agree. It was her I think it was her best performance. Mm -hmm. Um but uh, what you were saying, Jason, when when Pink sings, especially that song, mm -hmm. you're hanging on every single word. You're just like Okay, like, what are you gonna say next, mm -hmm. or where are you gonna take that word? Every single word is just like separated from each yeah. other. But she was just like la da dee da dee, glitter in the air, la da da da, -da. and it's not that song. So. I it felt like she was singing like a special music in church or something. Right, yeah. and her face, she does too much. She's, it's something I don't. I no, can't I understand, watch her. I understand what I you mean because Violet, when you said um, right before she was like, the, Violet's like, the first time I heard this song, it made me cry. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think of what the song was, but it put me in that place. So then that's what I expected. And then when she sang it, I was like, oh, she's like, she's so pretty. Yeah, she's so pretty. Yeah, she looks cute. Okay, that was a pretty song. Yeah, but, it but was, it's like, not a pretty song. She didn't take like an artistic approach yeah. to it. She's she's saying it as a vocalist and not as an artist. So I we disagree like with the judges, basically, because Harry yeah. Connick said it was a great song. He, it, I felt like he was talking to his daughter. Yeah. You know, very careful. He does think of her. That's like, a little weird. Like his yeah. daughter. But I don't know what we saw. And what I mean, I liked her first audition, but I, I don't I'm not. To me, she was forgettable tonight. 
She's regular. She, and she that's was the problem. Regular. Yep. She was forgettable because she was comfortable and she was nice and that was it. But it mm. was the way the way she sang the song was so safe. Mm -hmm. Safe. That's what safe. I meant to say. That's why she's, yeah. And that's trouble this week because we've got so many contestants left. So if you're lost in the crowd, you're going to lose those votes. She did slightly remind me of Holly Kavanaugh. Um, season really yes because Holly was very like very showy she sang big she was a tiny tiny little she, girl yeah. she was very almost like it, it, theatrical slightly I don't think yeah. Emily was but I mean I could see it but for some Holly, reason Holly came into came to mind when but I saw when her Holly singing. would sing and I can't remember her being theatrical but even if she was she had such a big voice mm -hmm. that she could do that mm -hmm. but Emily's here singing la da 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 and yeah. being like oh with her face like it's too much. Yeah. No, but here's the thing. Could she be in her head? Because last week, Harry was giving her a, a hard time for singing, ooh, la, 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 la. Remember? And so she's young. He talked down. She, I think she's in her head. She doesn't know what to what to say. I actually kind of can see that because this was very, like, family-friendly, tamed down, like, vanilla. Yeah. Well, then she'll figure it out. All right. Look, we got we, we got two more, Marissa. We're going to get out of here because they're going to be easy breezy. What do we think of Sam Wolf? He was, Amazing. And he was the MK of tonight. His vocals don't fail him. However, because of this song, it was a it was a karaoke song tonight. He just he covered that song. This was my least favorite MK performance. I thought it was shaky. Sam. Sam. Right, Sam. <laughs> Sam Wolf. <laughs> this is, I love MK. She's always on my mind. I, know, I thought right? it was shaky and I thought he did like weird scoopy things mm -hmm. while he was singing. And he looked like a deer in headlights the whole time. And like, I love him. I want him to do really well. But that, like, good I thing he has song. a lot of fans because the song choice could have been really good if he changed up the arrangement. Mm -hmm. But he did it identical and he didn't do it good enough. Yes. Huh. Uh, you're not I, I love him. I really do. He's so cute. Wait, but you love him or did, did you love the song? I didn't love his rendition of the song. It was very like slow down. I love that song. Oh. And I Sorry. feel like it was so slowed down and he didn't really sing any of it except that last note. He just sang that. The rest of it was just kind of talking. He's lucky through he's it. kind of fine. <laughs> he needs to do like a, he should stuff. do a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. And switch like switch it up, yeah. but it's still safe. Like it's not shocking. But do something like that. Maybe. I, I, I want to coach these kids. Let me, let me tell you. You what may to have do. to become a little mentor. Speaking Maybe of mentors, what did we think coach. of um, Randy. Randy as a mentor tonight? He was the dawn of the dawn. Yeah. Idol. It was kind of weird because his mentor things were when everybody was screaming, so you didn't really hear him yeah. mentor anyway. And you're just like, thing. we get it, idol. You don't want to fire Randy, but it's okay. And it was awkward, those shots of him sitting on the couch and just Yeah. No, like, he's head. cool. Randy's like, he's a like grandpa. watching them judge. That should have been me. All right, um, the Marissa's going to kill me right now. Caleb! Randy's what? Like, no. yeah. That's what I was going to do. I was ready to say oh, that. Oh, I'm JC. sorry. Man. Do it, do it. No. no. <laughs> but the fact that we're all acting like this is... Because are we watching a rock star? he's such a badass. He's so good. You know what's How weird? How dope was so that jacket? I always forget about him <laughs> until he sings. Oh, my gosh. And then oh. I'm like, oh, you're super good. My only thing was that song repeats itself so much that I got yeah. a little bored toward the end because mm -hmm. he's so good. I wish he would have switched up the phrasing a little bit or did something different because it just says the same words over and over. And I don't even know the song. <laughs> yeah. Every year there's like the rock star of Idol and I feel like he's what everyone has been trying to be. He's so real. He's, yep. He was he's born so to be a rock good. star. It's crazy. He has I love to... how he holds his mic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he has a pro. insane Incredible stage, stage presence. presence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has to be careful though because Idol is popular in middle America and he might get too weird for them. Uh, you think so? No, really? no. no he's like just enough the white. Smoke and the... I mean, my bad. <laughs> no, you say it. I think I think he needs to do a tame down performance. Like he needs to do a no, ballad next week. That would be when great. When Adam did Love it. Mad World, yeah. he needs to do something like that. That was my all time favorite performance he should in actually, all of American I kind of want him to do Alone by Heart. You gave oh, me wow. a great idea, Steph. Till now. Oh, yes. What? Let's ask everyone watching at home to send us on YouTube, iTunes, what was your favorite top idol performance of Ooh. all time? Oh, of let me tell you, seasons. stuff like that there, Kelly Clarkson. Oh my God, you're Stop so Stop influencing our After Buzz well, Nation. Adam Lambert, my first one, I'm not going to lie, my first one was um, Kelly Clarkson's our, uh, Respect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Okay, Marissa, we, I, know, I know we're running long, so we got to get out of here. Predictions, let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay. I'm not going to ask you who, to, who we're going to boot off right off the bat. I want to ask you, who is your favorite performance? Give me two or three if oh. you have more than one. Tonight, 
favorite one? Uh, oh, Caleb, okay. MK, Steph. That's it. <laughs> Majesty, and Alex, Jeff. Jessica. Okay, I'm gonna say best stage presence goes to Majesty. Best vocal actually goes to Jessica. Woo! Yes. Erase all the stage presence because that wasn't there. Yeah. MK was just my favorite. MK was your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. She's just she's just she's just a winner. I kinda like Ben too, I'm just saying. Wow, okay, yeah. so oh. who's going home? Um, who's going home? You, do we do we have one or two going home? I still don't think Kristen. Um, Kristen's going home. I think I think oh I think Gina's going home. I was Kristen, gonna say Gina or CJ. No, yeah. Kristen or Dexter. Ooh. Dexter. Dexter's oh, not yeah. going no, home. Middle going, America's not gonna let him go home. I I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go a little left of center with you guys. I'm gonna go my bottom two are gonna be Emily and Malaya. Oh, I forgot about Malaya. Actually, uh, you know who's going home? We are. We are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of my head. With that said, all right. So Jason, where can they find you, buddy? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. And Steph. And you can find me on Twitter at Stephanie Georgie on Instagram at Steffy G47. And you Victoria find, Justice. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and at Violet Kanye. And, and, <laughs> and on the Nashville show coming up soon. Nice. And Marissa, thank you for helping us behave. Where can they find you? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Serafini TV. Very nice. And you can find me at JC Rubio TV on Instagram and Twitter. So, for Marissa, Jason, Stephanie, and Violet, I'm JC, and we're your After Buzz for American Idol. We'll see you next week. Bye. Deuces. Bye. <laughs> I thought you were good. Gonna... Producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire After Buzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.